Hey there, my friends. It's Dr. Groovy Scott Grove from GroovyMusicLessons.com. As you see above, I grabbed a Court Curbo bass that is not a Court Curbo bass. I bought it for the story, and I bought it for the story. <laughs> um, because that means more to me than anything else. And when reselling, this, if you have a perfect, awesome, weird-ass story, and especially something like this that has a great story and um, no serial number. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, Greg Kerbo, one of the best bass designers ever in the uh, world. Uh, always made everything by hand. It's amazing stuff. He came up with his own stuff of called Rockwood that he would make his bass necks out of. Man-made material. He invented it. Um, always did the uh, fingerboards and um, ebonol, which is the same material that was used on the um, aluminum neck Kramer guitars and all the 70s um, Ovation electric guitars. So just amazing feeling fingerboards. As soon as Rosewood goes out, um, I hope they bring ebonol, ebonol in on everything. Nobody likes everything else. You guys would love this so much, and it's on this neck. Um, not a real prominent thing on all their other stuff. My uh, Monster Curbo from Greg. Again, he died in 2005, August 2005, from a brain tumor at 48. Um, this one I paid 10 grand for. Uh, there's a reason for that. These normally sell for, oh, four, 4,500, but the story is such that it commands a premium, so 10 grand it was. Uh, Bartolini pickup, you got the Kubicki preamp, um, you got volume, then you just got your typical highs, mids, lows that are all contoured, boost cut. You got a three-way switch so you can you know, turn on your preamps and stuff like that. So you can go from passive to active um, preamp, but then active on the controls. It's kind of strange, but very cool. Awesome ass bass right there. Okay, this is the rock wood right there. That is not wood of any kind. This is not, look at this. Look at the profile of the headstock. I love that, no tilt back. That's the way Scotty here makes them. No, not Scotty, smell of Grove guitars. Um, the real Scotty right here. Um, awesome ass bass, 33 frets. This is called the Petite 33, made by Greg himself. Just an awesome axe. Again, got this one over at um, uh, Ed Roman's place after he died because that was his bass. He would not let it go. And if you go check the site, uh, he made a whole bunch of copies of that one because that was the best one that he had ever found in his life of all of them. And um, he made a bunch of what are called Caesar bases, like Julius Caesar. So that's what he copied everything from. It did not say Kerbo on them, they all say Roman. Okay, so the one I got was this one here. It's in a finish called White Chameleon. Um, it does change many different colors. You aren't going to see it much in this thing. If you do, hey, cool. But it's very um, iridescent purples and pinks and that kind of thing. We have a Fishman instead of the um, Kubicki preamp going on in here. Still got a Bartolini. Still got what is called the slap switch, which is simply on and off for the active situation. Okay, there's two little places you can shove your screwdriver in here. Volume of the base, and then volume of the base when it's active. Okay, um, douchebags that are 12 years old and don't know jack shit, <laughs> or old fuckers that don't know jack shit, they're like, yeah, I wouldn't use that slap switch, that's just not my style. It's like, man, it just turns on your EQ. <laughs> you stupid moron. Okay, again, ebonol. Bang, 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 bang. Luthite body. Okay, not a slip of the tongue. Ibanez, ergodyne bases, and so forth. Used luthite. 
no wood again um, another turbo thing uh, this one actually does have a bit of a tilt back um, oddly enough my other one's a 96 over there this here's a 2005 same year Greg passed away okay so massive bridge and the same stuff as the other one little tiny cutaway makes it pretty much impossible to sit down and play unless you cross your legs but who wants to sit down uh, low profile but kick-ass profile so you this is like looks minuscule compared to a jazz or a p bass okay it just it looks classy is all get out um, again it says court on the headstock and then it says curbo on the headstock um, here's the actual spoof um, because I love the stories more than anything and this will be on YouTube so the story is here for anybody who ends up buying this at some point later on down the line I'm gonna keep it for a while so um, I got the whole spoof from the guy that I bought it off of on Reverb um, what I give 250 300 bucks for it or something like that um, I went going wrong and then the story is what got me I got the rest of the story when I got here I bugged the guy about the remainder of the story so I could get in just have some more stuff on it so anyway the guy wrote me um, I bought this bass from oh direct from Simon Griffith set Kerbo in 2005 just before Greg Kerbo passed away this is the last white chameleon model they made it has Matt Silver hardware and a custom Kerbo neck made by Kerbo not by Court uh, not a typical factory Kerbo um, Court Kerbo neck definitely one of a kind then it got here and I asked him more and more about it and he finally got back with me and said um, hey Scott so glad the base made it safely and that it has a new home enjoy it my friend as far as the background sure thing uh, back when you could order the Kerbo the Court Kerbo basis direct I talked with um, Mr. Simon Griffiths again over at Kerbo not at Court um, to get my hands on a white one when it arrived I noticed something that seemed a little different where the neck joined the body and I also had trouble locating the serial number uh, for the warranty information so I called Simon for help he was surprised and told me he would do some research when he called back he said the base had a crazy story Kerbo assembled the base in-house right there at Kerbo not at court um, because it was the last chameleon white body without a paired factory neck from um, court um, Greg Kerbo decided to put a custom neck on it uh, so he made another new neck and Simon contacted court for me to explain the situation and get my warranty going but since the base now has custom parts on it and it makes it outside the standard uh, court wouldn't honor the warranty because it's not all it's not made by court <laughs> um, with the situation being so unique Simon uh, verified the warranty for me and it was honored through Kerbo instead uh, he was very kind and through the whole process of figuring it out and I was uh, happy to get something better than expected truly a great company uh, thanks again and I hope you make great use of it and so forth anything here I'm missing as far as product specs 9 volt in air to do everything I told you about and everything else is 100% correct okay so I've got the base here ready to rattle again passive and then active that's all the slap switch means again douchebags going to update and <laughs> I don't know what to do with that there goofy slap switch I don't play slap <laughs> it's like, Oh, that's where all your tones at dude you can sit right there and dial in tones all day long okay so I'm just gonna play this sucker straight through my PA since I've been out here working on it all day again and five new acoustic guitar videos going up today I put three other videos out earlier on the regular channel this channel and then I've got if you guys were looking earlier in the week there was a blue uh, hardtail 
PRS SEEG that came up for sale. It was on for just a couple of minutes and then yours truly did a buy it now and snuck it away from all of you for um, half the price. So you're welcome. And then I got another guitar from one of my buddies, traded in the strap for a cool Fica guitar that I'll uh, show you here in a little while. So lots of new stuff coming on here. Let's get the bass going and do it on. I'm running through eight tens, four eights, and a horn, and then just going through one of my compressors. I've got 16, no, nope, 17, 20 compressors in that particular rack. Okay. Press like a bitch, just the way I like it. Let's get this down on the axe so we can do a little bit of stuff. Okay, so this is typical finger action. Okay, just my country stuff. typical sound you've got oh the Gene Simmons it's not gonna be dirty but Okay, the slap switch that all you douchebags are afraid of is just an active on and off. Here you go. Okay, there you go. Slap switch. That just means. Bass boost cut. Yeah. So. 
to your normal sound one more time. on there. Um, I always, always, always overdo the compression, but hey, you get an idea. So an awesome bass with zero serial numbers and right before Greg passed away, just trying to save whatever was left of what was around before he kicked it. Um, awesome luthier, awesome dude, again passed away 48, uh, mighty mighty young. Um, so I got a lot more stuff to show you, cool things coming in, more and more and more and more coming in, and uh, the sound video I will be doing very shortly, got just a couple more pieces to come in, and it will be a long video, I'll throw you a couple more bones on that, but otherwise it will be a uh, paid video that will put the whole um, former Yamaha Bible to shame. And again, this will be um, component systems as opposed to digital or as opposed to a little power to head. Eh, that can do in a pinch for 10 bucks. Anyway, okay, sucky, five dollar. <laughs> you guys be awesome. I'm going to sit here and play with some toys. Bye.